Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Nano Destra 777, and we're back inside of Destiny. Back from Destiny Con, it was an amazing time, but now, guys, it's time for another week in Destiny. Some very important things to talk about, so we're going to be doing your weekly reset video for August 30th, 2016. We're going to be going over all the post game content that you can do this week. So let's go and get started here with the Nightfall. This week, we are going to be going inside the Dreadnought. We are going to be facing the Dark Blade. And the modifiers are Epic, Small Arms, Chaff, Ironclad, and Exposure. So that is going to be a very interesting run. You're going to have your Small Arms, which is going to be nice. But Ironclad is going to be an interesting thing to go against, uh, especially because there's really no other a primary that uh, you can use other than Zala's Supercell that's got shields. And Ironclad means that you have more shields that you have to go up against all the time. More enemies have shields. So make sure you at least have your Zalo Supercell, your favorite primary weapon. Exposure means that your Guardian Shields are increased, but do not replenish. And Chaff means player radar is disabled, as well as Small Arms primary weapon damage is favored. So that is the Nightfall for this week. Uh, it's not amazing, but it's also not terrible, because Small Arms is always a good thing to have. Make sure you bring your Zalo Supercell as well. Let's go, as, as a couple of change of weapons. You'd probably be able to knock that out pretty easily. Just make sure that you keep moving when you are facing the Dark Blade, because Chaff makes this a very interesting Nightfall. Of course, let's go ahead and check out the Reef and see what we've got in the Reef for the Challenge of the Elders. This week we have the current modifiers, Berserk, Chaff, and Grenade Kill Bonus. So this is kind of an interesting one. Chaff, I've seen, uh, you know, when it's in the Nightfall, sometimes it will be in the Challenge of the Elders, and here it is. Uh, grenade Kill Bonus is a good one to have, but it's really nice when it's paired with Catapults, and unfortunately it's not, which means that the uh, it's not amazing for farming in case if you're trying to farm a lot of challenge of the elders experience but let's talk about the bosses we've got for this week for this week we've got the wretched knight with hive for the round one bosses round two is going to be the pilot servitor uh and the add-ons of fallen will happen in round two and finally round three is psylocke the defiled with add-ons of hive round three of course if you ever want to get your sterling treasure packages this is how you get them uh, this uh, you can get them in the level 41 prison of elders arena you can also get them from just hopping over to your post master or you can check out this week I am glad to announce that we've got mayhem clash I love mayhem clash it's a blast it's chaotic, it's fun, and it's very easy to farm for Crucible reputation for fighting against, you know, all those enemies and maybe pick up some packages, maybe getting a longbow from a Crucible package. Uh, so that's going to give you your Legendary Marks as well as your Sterling Treasure package. The other... Uh, option for your crucible weekly um games is going to be inferno 3v3 which is going to be nice uh but i'm definitely going to be hanging out inside mayhem clash this week which is amazing uh today's daily modifier is competitive multiplayer uh for clash and we get, can get 15 legendary marks now you want to make sure you're doing this every week so that when you go into rise of iron if you're moving on and picking up rise of iron which i think almost everyone is you want to be doing your dailies every single day so you can get those legendary marks and make sure you pick up a lots of awesome gear when rise of iron drops the daily heroic story is this week is in and for today excuse me investigate the rumors of a taken coven in the cosmodrome again that'll give you 15 legendary marks this week the vanguard heroic strikes are heroic void burn Specialist and Exposure. This is definitely farmable this week. Um, with Specialist on, that means you can take a Sniper Rifle, you can take a few, like a Telesto, uh, which I know a lot of people like using, um, and any kind of, you know, special weapon, tie it with Void Burn and do really, really well. Exposure makes it easier because you're going to have more life in the long run. You just need to make sure that you take cover uh, when you're getting shot at by lots and lots of enemies, and you can do pretty well. This is very farmable this week if you want to try and get some vanguard packages this week for that all right so the only thing left to do and talk about is the dreadnought this week and today's challenge is the golgoroth challenge this is the last time 
that this is going to appear in year two. So if you need to get your Golgoroth challenge done for your moments of triumph, this is the week. This is the week. So if you have any questions, stop by my Twitch live streams. Um, I I do and run people through this. I think this is one of the toughest challenges of, of the entire raid. I actually think Oryx is easier than Golgoroth. Um, essentially, what you need to do here is make sure that everyone in the fire team takes uh, Golgoroth's gaze at least once during the damage phase. Um, it can be tricky, especially if people aren't used to doing it that way. Um, but from the Golgoroth challenge, you can get up to 335 uh, armor uh, from the uh, hard challenge from the heroic version of the raid uh, and as well as a calcified fragment and an emblem and if you do the normal version of it you can get up to 320 light level gear uh, you'll still get the emblem and the calcified fragment if you have not gotten that and the emblem so yeah that is the king's fall raid do the golgoroth challenge this week if for your moments of triumph if you have not done so already and finally we have the tier three boss inside of the court of oryx it's going to be kagar uh and that is going to be the wizard that has the servile ogre make sure you take out all of the little acolyte eyes take those out first so you can weaken the wizard then kill the ogre then go up and kill the wizard actually pretty easy this week and that will help you get the, uh, up the all those 50 calcified fragments that you also need for your uh, moments of triumph guys so that is everything this week to do in destiny for your post game content if you found something in this video to be worthwhile uh positive rating is always greatly appreciated hit that subscribe button for more destiny content more rise of iron news and content there i'm also going to be doing a video about my experiences at the destiny con this week or this uh past weekend it was amazing it was a blast i want to make sure i share those experiences with you especially because some of you may have been following for some time maybe some of you are new which is fantastic welcome to the channel again check out my twitch live streams where i bring people through raids um, if you need a black spindle before year two is over please stop by my channel i will get you one super fast pretty much any time uh, that you want guys so thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time in the universe of destiny